Alright, hello everyone, it's GStar321 here again, and today, as you can see, I'm playing more Mortal Kombat Armageddon. This time, I'm going to be doing a motor combat playthrough. Now, motor combat, what is it? Well, if you don't know, I mentioned it in my main Armageddon playthrough video. But you can think of it as Mortal Kombat meets Mario Kart. That's probably the easiest way I can describe how motor combat is. And with that being said, let's jump straight into it here. It's very short, there's only five tracks in total to race on. So the first track here, as you can see, is the Lin Kuei Raceway. The second track is the Outworld Refinery. The third track is the Botan Jungle. The fourth track, the Lost Pyramid. And the fifth and final track, look at that, is Bo Rai Cho's Brewery. I mean, what the fuck's going on here? He gets his own track in motor combat? Why is Bo Rai Cho getting such special treatment? He's gonna be in Mortal Kombat X now, as part of a Mortal Kombat pack. He's got his own fucking track here in motor combat. I mean, what's next? When will this end? If they make a Shaolin Monks 2, is he gonna be the main playable character in that game? What a fucking disgrace! This is unacceptable. This isn't even funny anymore. This has got to stop. This is becoming a violation of human rights. It's absolutely degrading and something has to be done about this. Something needs to be done because this cannot be allowed to continue. Completely unacceptable. An atrocity. <sighs> okay. Let me just calm down. I've chosen the Lin Kuei Raceway first. I'm just going to go through all the tracks in order and once you've chosen your track you have to pick a character who you want to race as so each character has their own special ability there's about let's count them how many are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay so there's ten characters to choose from like i said each character has a special ability barakas is he shoots out a blade to his opponents, the other racers on the track. And if it hits them, they'll get stunned and you know, you'll be able to overtake them. You can only perform each character's special ability if you collect one of the stars laid out on the tracks. Okay, you can't just keep on shooting out Baraka's blade, for example, non-stop. That would be pretty cheap, right? So you have to collect the stars first in order to get their special abilities and then you can use them. So that's Baraka. Uh, oh man. Let me just skip this one for now. Johnny Cage, he's in a fast car. His special attack, special ability, should I say, is he shoots out his force ball in front of him and it lands on the ground and whoever's in the vicinity takes a hit and they'll get stunned. Cyrax, he lays down a bomb behind him so each character has sort of different types of special abilities. Some, for example, may shoot out projectiles in front of them, some may drop things behind them, and some might use shields and so on. So with Cyrax here, he drops a bomb behind him. It's like dropping the banana in Mario Kart in essence, you know what I mean? So whoever stumbles across the bomb gets hit. Jax, he's in like a mini tank, which is pretty cool. I like his special ability because it's almost like his ground pound move. He jumps up, or should I say his whole cart jumps up and then slams on the ground and anyone in the vicinity will become stunned, which is good. Katana. I don't really like her special ability because it's a rather passive special ability. She summons this shield which surrounds her cart and I mean, I guess you just don't take any hits from the other races, but I don't really like those sorts of abilities. I like special abilities where you can attack, you can do something. I don't really like the passive ones. So Katana, I don't really like. Melina sort of has another passive special ability. All hers is, is just a turbo boost. You know, you use her special ability and she'll go a bit faster for a few seconds, that's it. But, I mean, it's okay. I guess you could say she's the fastest racer out of all of them, but there's plenty of um, 
boost ups should I say on the main tracks that you just drive over and you can go fast anyway so I don't know Melina and Katana just seem like boring characters to me in motor combat Raiden is really cool I love him because he summons this lightning I was gonna say shield but it's not really a shield it's a lightning attack that sort of surrounds him it looks like a shield but whoever's in the vicinity will take a hit and become stunned momentarily and whenever he does it he does that classic you know when he does that torpedo that scream send him away or whatever the fuck it is he says that shit which is really cool I love it scorpions is awesome he shoots out his spear and whoever's in front you know if it hits them he'll pull them back and overtake them great special ability I like scorpion and sub-zero he's awesome too because he shoots out an ice projectile in front of him and it freezes whoever it hits momentarily and you can overtake them so here we go yeah let me just speak about this fuckwit fucking disgusting first of all I just wanna say that his go-kart is the most abhorrent it drives like shit it sounds like it's gonna explode as he's racing around the track you know it's like he just created it himself out of a beer barrel it's repugnant it's it's not fun to play as Borai Cho in motor combat. It's not fun to play as Borai Cho, period. Especially in motor combat here. Look at that face of his. Look at him. It just makes you want to punch him and grab that beer glass and just smash it across his smug face. That's what I really want to do. And then take a dump in his go-kart. Piece of shit. Why does it keep going to the damn menu? I'm not selecting my character quick enough. Okay, so I'm going to play, look, I will play as Borai Cho, and I'm going to save him for his own track, Borai Cho's Brewery. The only reason I'm going to play as him is because I need to show you how bad he plays. How, it's, I can't even describe in words how sickening he is to play as. He's just vile, filthy, and there's just not enough despicable and vicious words in the English vocabulary to describe this character and what he does. There really isn't. So I'll be playing as, unfortunately, Borai Cho. I'll be playing as Cyrax and Raiden, Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Okay, so I'll go Cyrax first. Cyrax. Cyrax. And it's really cool, when you drop his bomb behind you, if someone drives into it and gets hit, he does his classic, let me go home, you know, that crazy robot scream. Or whatever he says, I've got no idea what the fuck he says. Okay, so here we go, let's get straight into it. Ah, oh, you fucking asshole, Johnny Cage. So there you go, that's the star, and as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, I've got the bomb. So I can drop it by pressing the X button like so and there you go I exploded jacks that's what it just said there you can collect coins which is good okay always try and go up this ramp because it's a nice speed boost there's another coin now what you can do okay let me get this speed boost be careful see how there was a red line there if you drive into that it's ice it's very slippery and you'll skid off, hit a wall, and explode into pieces. It's actually a fatality. And I might do it just to show you guys what it looks like. Because it's pretty cool. Okay, so... Holding right trigger will accelerate. Left trigger breaks like that. I just stopped completely. Pressing X, like I said, uses your special ability. Once you've got it, you know, collected a star. If you press square or circle, that will actually perform like a sidewards attack. So I'll press circle here. See how he goes right? If there is a racer to your right and you do that, that will stun them momentarily. It'll hit them, which is pretty good. And likewise, if you press square, you'll do it to the left. I tend not to use it too much. I just focus on good driving and using my special abilities. That's it. Also, another extremely important tactic here in regards to this is if you press the L1 button 
as you're making a turn, just press it, don't hold it, press it once, you'll actually do a sharper turn. So it's almost like a handbrake in essence. It's extremely handy for turning tight corners, otherwise you'll just, you know, go all the way like this, like that, bang, up against the wall. So don't hold it, just... Oh, fucking God. Alright. I'm coming last. This is terrible. There's Melina and Katana in front of me. See? Katana just used her shield there. I don't think it can hit other... Oh, shit. Be careful. Fuck! <laughs> oh, I took a swim. Not good. So it's pretty cool. Every stage has fatalities. I keep missing that damn turbo boost there. It's very important because that turbo boost leads to the finish line. And, you know, it's actually really hard to win races in this game because even if you're playing perfectly and you're coming first and you're dropping bombs and whatnot or whatever ability you have, you know, basically, if you're playing a hundred percent you will still not come first that's what I'm trying to say it's bullshit it's rigged look at that see how the fuck did Scorpion just get in front of me you know what I mean and you watch there'll be other characters that just overtake me as well it's fucking horseshit unless you can get these speed boosts all the time consistent look watch he'll overtake me you watch look at that how does he go faster than me so the only way to win is doing that. Get the damn speed boosts. It's fucking bullshit. Totally rigged. Very frustrating. Okay, so I came first there. Good. Now let's go play on the Outworld Refinery stage. I love this stage. Okay, so I'll pick... Raiden or Sub-Zero for this one? I'll go... Raiden. Raiden. And you know, each character's cart really represents that character as a whole. So, I mean, if you play as Sub-Zero, he's in like a snowmobile. If you play as Bo Rai Cho, you know, he's in a beer barrel. Which makes sense because he's a fucking drunk piece of shit. If you play as Johnny Cage, he's in like a mini Ferrari and so on. Raiden's got this sort of airborne cart here. Pretty cool. Okay, now be careful here of the fire that comes up there, otherwise you'll get your ass burnt and that will be a fatality. Okay, so I need to make sure I get all these turbo boosts here. And be careful if you go off, watch what happens. <laughs> I've got to show you all the fatalities at least once, I have to. And I gotta go. Look, look, look! That's perfect. It's really easy to avoid them with practice. Okay, I missed that turbo boost there. So this racetrack has eight laps. Each track has a different number of laps. It's not always the same. I love it. Ooh! Ah! Oh no! That was pretty bad. Get the turbo! Fuck! Yeah, I think Raiden's go-kart handles pretty bad compared to the others, I find. I don't know. It's just a random observation I've made. Maybe it's not accurate at all. Maybe I'm just playing like shit. I don't know, but I just find his turning is a bit... It's just not as good as the other characters. So maybe there are some differences besides, you know, each character just having different special abilities. Get the star. Send him away! I'm going straight. Look at that. Bastard. Jax, get back here. Get that. Fuck, I keep missing that damn turbo boost. Go away, Katana. You can look behind you by holding the triangle button. Forgot to mention that as well pretty handy to see who's coming up behind you. Okay, careful. Ooh, ah. Man. Oh my god, he did it again. And he keeps disorienting me as well. I keep missing that turbo boost because of it. 
fucking jacks, get back here. You're another fucking disgrace. Gets his own game in the form of Mortal Kombat Special Forces. Complete and utter dog shit. Oh, he tried to do it again, did you see? Okay, that was my fault there. <laughs> I'm not gonna blame Jax that time. Alright, I need to win. I need to get that turbo boost as well at the end if I want to win this race. Like I said, you need to get the turbo boosts. Not so much throughout the whole track, but just that main last one. Oh, this is fucked. Okay, so I probably won't come for... <laughs> Far out. If only I got that turbo boost at the end. Very disappointing. Oh well, I guess as long as I come in the top three for each race I'll be happy. Okay, third track, the Botan Jungle. Another great track. So I'll play as Scorpion for this one. Like I said, Scorpion's special ability is he uses his spear. Get over here! That's what he says as he pulls one of the other racers towards him and overtakes them. Just make sure you hit them with it because you can miss. Look at his cart as well, I like it. It's got the skull on the back there. Grab that star. Okay, I just missed Johnny Cage, I think. Sounded like I hit him, but I don't think I did. Get the star. See that? Okay. Missed. Fucking hell, what's going on? Leave me alone. Got him. There we go. Speared Cyrax. And sent him behind me. And you watch, he's gonna... Okay. If I didn't get that turbo boost... And even if he didn't, he'd still overtake me. It's bullshit. Get that, yes. Now the thing is, when you get the turbo boosts, make sure you're holding accelerate, right trigger, as you get them. Because if you don't, it won't be as effective. Now be careful here, because <laughs> that can happen. <laughs> oh dear. Get some coins. Oh my god. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You gotta know which characters have those sorts of special abilities where they can drop shit behind them and attack you. So, you know, Cyrax, Bo Rai Cho, you'll see his special ability when I play as him for the last racetrack. Absolutely sickening. Oh my god, come on. I had turbo, I thought I'd go straight through that. Jeez, that was close. Gotcha. Get that damn turbo boost. Good. Get that. Get it. Yes. Okay, coming third. Who's that there? Raiden. God damn, I missed it. You've got to make those jumps, like, perfectly. Shit. Where's Raiden? He's behind me now, is he? Oh man, that was... That was bad. Final lap, I've got to step up my game here. Johnny Cage, you piece of shit, get back here. I know you're in a fast car, but... Get back here. So here, you've got to go straight in the middle if you want to get that, because you can't sort of navigate to the left or right in the air. Oh, oh no. <gasps> back! Okay, come here. Get the fuck back here. Katana. God damn it. It's really hard, you know, to win all the time. 100% focus is required, and like I said, you've got to get all the turbo boosts. Well, the key ones, that is. The ones that are pretty much just before the finish line. Okay, Lost Pyramid, let's go on that one. 
and I'll choose Sub Zero for this one. Sub Zero's special ability, like I said, is he shoots his ice projectile, his freeze, out towards the front of him. Whoever it hits will be frozen momentarily, and you can overtake them. I love his card as well, look at it. It's like this snowmobile with tires with spikes. Oh my god. Yeah, just be careful here. You can see there's a red warning there. Don't drive over the red part, otherwise you'll go straight down a hole. Okay, that was a complete fail there. And be careful here, because if you go up that red ramp, look, watch. <laughs> See how they're all getting flattened? That's a fatality. It's actually pretty cool, I'll show you that. A bit later on, but let me just try and... Play a bit respectable here. Okay, I need that boost. Let's go. And I just went straight over the red, but I had the turbo boost, so it doesn't matter, you know, you can sort of go straight over it. If I didn't have the turbo boost, I would have went straight down in the hole. So just take note of that. Oh, what the hell. Jesus Christ, this is awful. Okay, so watch, I'll go up the red ramp. Look. It was three of us. <laughs> uh. Raiden, get back here. You're always in front of me, aren't you? Son of a bitch. Gotta get that turbo boost. And I should be able to overtake him or at least get very close to him. Stay away from the red. And he's straight back in front of me, of course. Yes, gotcha. Now Scorpion's in front of me, I have no fucking idea how he got in front. Okay, there we go. Did anyone get flattened there? I don't think anyone got flattened. They all drove pretty well. <laughs> Scorpion. Okay, so final lap, I've got to step up my game here. Need to win. Get all oh, yeah. It wasn't enough that he shocked me. He had to send me down the fucking hole as well. Asshole. Cool music as well. Last one. It's possible if you go up the wrong ramp, it's possible to switch over to the ramp opposite you, but it's really hard. You've got to... Fuck, Raiden one. Yeah, it's really hard. You've got to sort of... Okay, so say if the middle ramp is the bad ramp and the ones on the left and the right are the good ramps. If you go up the middle ramp and you go up it so far to the left that you're almost in the left ramp, if you keep holding left, you will go into the left ramp. I've done it before. But you have to be already that close to the other ramp, you know what I mean? Otherwise, you've got no chance. You're stuck getting steamrolled. Okay, so here we go. Bowrai chose Brewery. Let's finish this off with a bang, shall we? Ugh. I'm actually literally just shaking my head now. This is just... This makes me sick. Yes, Bowrai Cho indeed. Now, his special ability is... Look at that! There's even a statue of him! What the hell? Is this character a fucking god? What is going on? Oh man. Listen to his go-kart. It sounds like shit, doesn't it? it? Sounds like it's just gonna blow up. What a piece of crap. How can this thing even drive? Okay, so his special ability is he baths behind him. And whoever goes into the bath, well, they get stunned. Look at that, see? I puked on Scorpion. Wow. Oh, jeez. And he just keeps farting as well, randomly, throughout the race. I mean, I think you 
fart when you land from a high jump or get a turbo boost or something. It's just not funny. It's disgusting. It's a fucking disgrace. I'm sick of it. Look at him. Look at that face. Okay, did I get anyone? Missed the turbo boost there. Good. Probably one less fart I have to hear throughout this race. Yeah, that'll probably happen. No. I need that turbo. Fuck! God damn it. Now that turbo boost there at the start, I never get it because it's so awkward and this part has got a lot of tight turns and I just find myself slamming into the damn wall every time I get it so I always skip that turbo boost and just try and drive really well for those corners. Okay, I got the turbo boost. Come third. Jackson Katana are in front of me. I need that one. Yes, good. Now I'm first. That puke isn't hitting anyone. This is pathetic. I mean, how many times can somebody puke as well? Wouldn't his throat be fucked by now? And his ass? Wouldn't he have torn himself a new asshole? from all this farting. So I probably won't come first here, like I give a shit with Barai Cho. Good. Zap me. Oh, it's probably possible if I get this. Maybe. Um, no. Nah. Okay, so there you go. You saw Barai Cho in full form there, on his own track with his own fucking statue the god that he is or he thinks he is absolutely fucking sickening look at that look at it what the hell do you make of that what what do you what do you see when you look at that what the hell do you see Whew, I can tell you what I see but I've already said that a million times there's no need to repeat it Okay, so that's it guys. That's basically motor combat from Mortal Kombat Armageddon. It's great fun to play, but it's it's not, and I said this before in my main Armageddon playthrough video, it's not sustainable. You know, it will get boring rather quickly. Like I said, there's only five tracks to play on, and it just feels way too short. I mean, if this was made into a fully fledged go-kart racing game I think it's got a lot of potential you know they could do so much with it and I think it would be awesome I'd, I'd buy it a Mortal Kombat go-kart racing game I definitely would but yeah that's just a basic sort of run-of-the-mill type go-kart racing thingy there but yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching my motor combat playthrough. And as promised, after this, I'll be tackling the conquest mode. So stay tuned for more Mortal Kombat Armageddon videos. I'm out.